Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're taking our configuration game to the next level, how to load custom YAML files in Spring Boot. We all know Spring Boot automatically loads your default application.yml, but what if you want to import additional YAML files for more modular and organized configurations? Well, that's exactly what we're going to explore today. I'll show you step-by-step -step how to set up and load custom YAML files in your Spring Boot application, so you can keep your configurations neat and tidy. In our previous video, we loaded our custom email configuration from the email configuration.properties file. Now we're going to load the same configuration using a custom YAML file called email configuration.yaml. I'll walk you through each step, showing you how to import and use this YAML file so that your email settings are loaded seamlessly. Ready to see some YAML magic? Open the application.yaml file. First up, we're going to remove the spring.config.import property. It's time to rename our custom properties file. Let's rename email configuration.properties to email configuration.yaml. All right, now it's time to convert our email configuration into YAML format. I'm going to cut the same configuration from our application.yaml and paste it into our new email configuration.yaml file. All right, now let's open up our email configuration class. In our previous video, we had commented out the at property source annotation. Now we're going to uncomment it and update the file path. Instead of pointing to our properties file, we'll change it to point to our new YAML file, email configuration.yaml. All right, here's something important to note. When working with properties files, our at property source annotation just works out of the box. But with YAML files, it's a different story. The at property source doesn't know how to read YAML by default, so we need to provide a custom YAML factory, specifically, a YAML property source factory. Without that, Spring won't be able to load our YAML configuration correctly. Create our very own YAML property source factory class. This class is the secret sauce that lets Spring Boot read custom YAML files as property sources. This class will implement the property source factory interface. Next, we override the create property source method. Inside that method first, we create an instance of YAML properties factory bean. This is our YAML reader. Then, we set the resource on it so it knows which YAML file to load. We retrieve the properties by calling getObject on the factory bean. Finally, we return a new properties property source by passing the name and the properties into its constructor. Follow exactly as I do on my screen, step by step. All right, next up, let's open our email configuration class. Inside the at property source annotation, we'll pass an additional parameter. Factory equals YAML property source factory dot class. This tells Spring Boot, hey, use our custom factory to read YAML files instead of the default mechanism. All right, everyone, everything is set up and ready to go. 
let's start the application and see our custom configuration in action. The application is up and running. Now, let's switch over to Postman and hit our API endpoint. Look at that. As you can see on my screen, we got the proper response. Spring Boot has successfully loaded our custom YAML configuration. Everything is working perfectly. All right, here's another cool trick. Previously, we used the at property source annotation along with our custom YAML property source factory to load our custom YAML configuration. But guess what? With spring.config.import, we don't need any extra classes at all. First, comment out the at property source annotation in our email configuration class. Also, comment out our YAML property source factory class since we won't need it anymore. Now, open up our application.yaml file. Add a new property called spring.config.import and set its value to our custom YAML file path same as I do on my screen. That's it, no extra setup required. Now, let's restart the application and hit our API. Look at that. The response is perfect. Spring Boot has seamlessly loaded our configuration from the custom YAML file using spring.config.import. This approach is super clean and saves us from having to create any additional factory classes. Pretty neat, right? All right, folks, let's wrap up what we've learned today. We explored two powerful ways to load custom YAML configurations in Spring Boot. First, we saw how to use the at property source annotation with a custom YAML property source factory to load our email configuration from a separate YAML file. Then, we discovered an even cleaner method using spring.config to import in our application YAML, which automatically loads our custom file without needing any extra code. Our API responses confirmed that Spring Boot is now picking up our custom configuration exactly as we intended. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. See you in the next one.